seeing young couples with children, seeing young adults, seeing elderly people. This is something you really love to see at the neighborhood level to see the 15-minute city concept come alive, along with many services, shops, cafes, and so forth, all surrounding the square. What is 15 minute city concept is a concept that uh, appeared not so long time ago and it was part of the campaign of uh, Anne Hidalgo, the mayor of uh, Paris. We recently just published the new strategic master plan for Warsaw. The main idea of the new document is actually increasing quality of life of citizens. We did a lot of studies of uh, accessibility of different services around the city. We did a study about uh, uh, urban fabric, how actually physical environment is influencing our life, quality of life. We should have uh, like basic services close to the place we are living. Then we should have easy access to the services that we need uh, periodically, like, I don't know, once per month. So if we're talking about the big scale housing neighborhoods, uh, one of the most characteristic one is uh, Ursynów, that actually we can even say that it is 15 minutes city because all the facilities are in pedestrian access. So let's go discover Ursynów together from the 15 minute city concept perspective. Here we are, coming out of one of the metro stations, and there is an elevator here. This is so important from an accessibility perspective. Here we are also walking on the ramp. We just had a, a father with his son cycle by, people walking up and down. Great accessibility feature, thinking about mobility. Also, in the 15-minute city concept, just thinking also about practical needs for individuals who need to get to the subway to commute. The vision is actually to make the resilient ecosystem. So we see city as the whole ecosystem, where actually buildings are as important as uh, blue and green infrastructure, so nature. What we are trying to achieve that is very important for the 15-minute city, it's the proximity of different services. Those services are those ones that are very close to our house, so they are local. They are one that we should access on the district level and the whole city level. And for each level, we should have access to the blue and green infrastructure and public transport that is going to make a city as a whole and, and pedestrian and for cyclists and even for car users. A bike path that goes all the way from this district, Ursula, to the city center. That's really great to see. Of course, prioritizing multiple modes of sustainable mobility. Here in Ursinov, we're seeing footpaths, uh, quality pedestrian space for people moving by foot, prioritize bicycle, there's buses whizzing by, and a subway system. This is really wonderful. Here we are, an example of a really fantastic public space in the district of Ursinov. This uh, is a local public space, which is probably greatly used by local residents in this neighborhood. I'm seeing multiple generations here, young children enjoying this great water play. Super important, especially in these hot days of summer. The perfect vision would be that uh, we were really uh, forming a community one big community and uh, small communities all along uh, neighborhoods uh, that uh, we are going to do it together. So it cannot be forced on people, so it should come from people, so we should design with them. We've been here in Ursinov today investigating the area with the 15-minute city concept in mind. I'm really happy to say that we've seen the 15-minute city concept as a living, breathing reality in this area here today. I do understand that some people can say, I don't want to live like that. I want to have my house with my garden and I don't mind to drive a car. And that's okay. 
People are afraid that we are going to imprint one idea everywhere. It's about people, for people, yeah, and we do have to maybe change a way of thinking that I maybe in the future I, I will have to share space. The 15-minute city concept is not about restricting your freedoms. You're free to go where you like. It is about prioritizing a walkable, inclusive urbanism at neighborhood level. It's about quality of life. <laughs>